Welcome back guys to Child of Light, where in my curiosity to find myself the last remaining bit of stardust here in my field is forest, you can see I've got 9 out of 10 on the bottom right section. I went all the way back to the old monastery and started searching around and I have indeed found it, but what I found otherwise apart from that was more important because an old man here is complaining about not having a shovel with a gleaming light next to him sparkling, so our trading side quest I think it continues. Sir, for a shovel you are waiting? Thank you for your kindness, take this for illuminating. I don't need it to bury ours. I can work by the light of the stars. And a lantern is ours next. Now if we need a lantern for anyone, I think we know exactly who we're taking that to, who complained about light before. So let's nip on over after I pick up that stardust. So we come to the point where the final forest stardust lay. And may it be in the opposite section over here as we get led by some magic and HP restoration, but first of all, it seems to be a ghost in our path. Why is there always enemies? But even when they're lower, I think they stand up to a fight quite a bit more. In fact, I'm going to get hit all over the place. Well, my overall defense should have improved enough. Well, I can take some hits, really. Four damage only? Well, I would say we could tumble before this. Actually, I think we can, don't you? A little bit of slow down and petrify all. That should go to lead to some nice damage. In fact, our ogre friend, our gargoyle friend, just completely evaporated. We're at a point where our strength is quite strong enough to dispatch of low level enemies. And get ourselves a lovely defensive stardust. With that said, let's get over to our pickaxe friend, our mining compatriot, and get some gold. And so into the deep darkness we go. I need a light, he says. Well, we have one, sir. What a plight, you need a light. We definitely have one here, sir, to light your way. You brought this lantern for me? Thank you. I'm indebted. What can I do? This mine has gold, I see. May we remove a small piece? Certainly, your lantern has given this place a new lease. Indeed, you can get some more gold now, surely, with that in hand, but we've got ourselves the gold nugget. We've turned an apple into gold. Come to the Bulmus Trader Fly. I hope when we show him this gold, he doesn't cry. I think he might do. I think he might do. But I also managed to get a couple of level ups while I was done. Well, one level up, because I bashed in some fire spiders. So now it's about getting ourselves some more abilities to go with it. So with that said, let's continue along here, increase our magic with you. And we also got one for Rimbella. We should, considering we got Tumble, we should probably go with the Strength Upgrade as well. It's the only good way to go, and apart from that, we can simply fast travel warp straight back to the town of Bulma's Populi. Straight to the trader and say, hey, apple into gold, done and done. Though the route it was is kind of fun. Apple to spade to sh I mean, or shovel, to lantern to gold. It was quite quick, but it's what the value someone puts in an item really, isn't it? I suppose you have given up. No, no, not at all. And seed victory to me. There is no shame in it, you know. Only a bomber's a traitor can be. Then explain this gold nugget to me. What? It cannot be. Impossible. We are the experts, not some outsider. You are. That much is infallible. I am certain we outsiders have a lot to learn. So instead of turning away, perhaps teach us. And we will spread the fame of the bomber's wide. You truly are a marvel. I apologize for being brusque. I have nothing to teach you, that much is clear. But I can give you aid upon your journey far and near. A master trader you be. Good luck to you, here. And so a Lemurian request is complete. Free trade is done. Six times strength stardust. Yeah, that will help me a bit. Thing is, who do I put it on, really? Man, I just got myself a ton of stardust to put on. With all these plights done, the only one we still haven't done is Rubella's plight. A golden apple you play action? Well, I don't care about that, but look at all the lovely stuff we can increase as a whole. Hmm, let's put some more defense on you. I know you're supposed to be stick it on the highest defense person and you build someone as a tank type. Still, who would be the best to stick the strength on? I guess with Petrify All, a couple on you would not be a bad idea. Rubella, your strength is actually pretty high, my dear, probably because of how much we plugged you with. Hmm. Let's just go for those two, I guess. 
and hope the rubella really doesn't leave me when the job's done and we've sorted her plight. Have I actually been in here or not? That's a question for myself. I have indeed. There's so many places to go, but I think, to be honest, we can head on straight out of this town now. Let's just burst forward and I guess go straight on. Nothing else to do, nothing else to do. Hmm, did I ever actually enter here? Questions, questions. That long cave journey has got me a bit confused. No, I don't think we have. Hello. A firefly elixir times two, and what's for you? A savior must the vault target. Someone must bring liquidity to the market. That I shall do. Where is this vault? Take me to it straight away. Uh, with all the quests done and all those stardusts gained, man, we keep upping our level nicely. We didn't have to straight level up to get those nice stats. Rubella just gained, like, whew, quite a lot straight away at the start of this episode. What was it? 14 strength overall without the level up as well? Like, wow, wow. Pardon me, sir. The way up, can you tell me? Looking up is silly. In this economy, we have more important worries plenty. Our poor vault might as well be empty. Huh, <laughs> gigantic vermin. How distasteful. Speaking with them is quite wasteful. Indeed, you say that, but I want to know exactly where it is we're heading when. Come on, unless you have a source of capital to impart, please, all of you, depart. Well, to be honest, I've done a lot of searching around. Surely I have some kind of form of capital by now. This is a big question on what I do next. Salutations, hello! You wish to reach the temple high above, presumably? Hello, young mouse. I will present you with a locomotion opportunity. Allow me to accompany you on this venture. I believe it will pay off handsomely. Both for you and for me. Lead on. To the promontory. Promontory? Hmm. If that mouse comes near me, I shall crush him like a daisy. Well, that's very nice, but Robert has joined the party, a little mouse friend. Whatever you may be. Whatever your skills are. And it seems we come down to the face in the mountain. Ha ha! No bridge far and wide do I see. Oh, Magna, can you help me? I see no one near. Me neither. Where are you, dear? My stars! Dive! Run! The mountain is alive! Little fizzers, do not go! Can I get you anything? I have water, fresh from a nice flow! Thank you kindly, but no! Aren't you charming? Call me Magna! Magna, pleased to meet you! The temple in the clouds we seek! Is that all? Let me shake off my dew! Oh, that's shaking the wind out of me! I desperately need to rest. Something's wrong with my heart, you see. Sweetheart, truth is, I'm not at my best. Magna, we seem to go inside. To access the vault of the Bomber's Populi. And so her moor it opens wide. Always so busy you are, Robert. All right, take care, goodbye. Into her mouth to get chomped? Into his or her mouth? Magna could be gender neutral, I guess. Sounds a bit feminine to me, but big mountain person, booming voice, surely. That voice would echo far and wide. Robert, thank you for your generosity. This opportunity was not free entirely. A catch, you see. The Queen imprisoned our accounting. Release the door of our sealed vault. And news of my promotion will be sounding. Are we to be this monster's diet? Robert, why is it you live upon a giant? The populi traveling traders, we. Magna moved us from place to place. Low and high we bought and sold. At an exhilarating pace. Until the new queen Umbra came to dwell. And night and Magna fell. Excise her cobwebbed heart and its spinners four. Then Magna will carry you to the temple's high shore. Sure thing then, let's get searching, but... Before we do, let's level up this urchin. Haha! -ha. Right, skill points of 8. 
to be done at this moment. I'd have thought I'd have more skill points aside, to be honest, but we got Hinder, that it decreases speed nicely. You've got Strength Upgrades, or Antidote, Cure Status Elements of a Target Ally for only one MP of a short spell power. I think I'll take that. Double hit. Shoot an arrow to the targeted dark creature. If the target dies, a follow-up attack is then executed. Sounds kind of cool, to be honest. But then it takes me along paths that I'm not sure I should really go right now. We've got antidote all over there. All we got over here, double hit level two. Hmm. Any other cool abilities? What's this down low? Shoot arrow. Shoot an arrow at a targeted dark creature. Is that just your normal attack by the sound of it? We got defend up there as well. But defend's level two, so I must already... Ah, yeah, I do start with defend. We've got sure shot. Increase the chance for critical hit by 10%. This is a passive skill. So that sounds kind of cool if we follow that line there. More criticals. And then, of course, we get, like, nice skills over here. Hinder all. Where to go first? Critical upgrade? I mean, he's got some interesting statistics, some skills, but I think I'll just take antidote all for now. And then get moving. What level are you, Robert, sir? Only level 20. All my guys are way past you. You should be leveling up nice and fast, I'm sure. Well, let's get exploring. Inside the Moor of Magna. Damage elixir times two. I hardly use these potions, but what's this? Never have I seen metal of such putrid color. Worthless like that it is. But shaped into pins and scepters. Hooks and buttons, belt buckles, and ornamented candy for kids. Kids? Of oh, Magna, that is. You will discover that it skyrockets in value. Principle is simple. Even a weed, when gilded, can be sold. Or a lowly bomus raised in status kindle. The love of a fair maiden. And earn her smile bright. Little mouse, you in love? Of course not. I'm just demonstrating my business might. I'm sure you are. On well, the meantime, we'll take the quicken elixirs. If I run into that wall, do you think I get hit by lava? That's a question in itself. Right. I imagine it is something on those lines, so I'm not even going to test it. Aha! We have ourselves dripping fire. And apart from that, oh, even balls uh, jump upwards towards us? That's not so nice. Let's keep following the path, eh? Well, Nicholas, I think you can get that without any trouble. And it seems the path is leading us that way all the same. But not to secrets, I see. Let's open that with a Nicholas, and then I guess take on the spider. Which might not be so much of a surprise attack, as I managed to whip around. Surprise strike, though, that's fine. Right, we know you are our water queen. Petrify all would probably be better, though. Apart from that, you're our lightning friend. But I know we want to use Robert right now to try and out what he's got. But Finn will put pay to the enemies so much faster. Is that double interrupt I see? It is indeed. Vulnerable to water. You may counter it with physical defense or armor. I'm just going to go blow my pipe. Gush you away. Right, you are going to hit me, most likely, unless you choose to speed yourself up or something along those, those lines. But considering your attack took quite a while, I guess you are attacking indeed. Right, we should be able to just knock this guy down, more or less. In fact, for that, let's actually find out what Robert can do. Okay, we just got shoot arrow, paint, rain arrows, antidote, antidote, hinder. Double hit as well, but to be honest, we just want to shoot at the moment. Vulnerable to water you are. Let's see how much damage you can do, Robert. Not so much. Burning touch, you're going to do even more damage to me. Robert's speed does seem a little bit faster, though. And with that, we will petrify and win. Because your strength has been improved quite a bit, hasn't it? Wow, Robert, where do you learn to fight? Have you been to a business meeting? This kind of combat is light. I'm sure it is. Alright then. Well, it seems like that way is the way to go, so the opposite way should lead to treasure, surely? I hope so. Oi, you go down. I want to attack you from behind. Bring forth all the spiders! So 
Although, I'd say you're not exactly the best combination to use here. Finn is definitely our man. Now, they're all spiders. It's too bad I don't have Monsoon all, but hopefully I have Lightning Strike all, which will probably do more damage than going for an elemental weakness, won't it? Now, which one is going fast here? The one in the back? Well, the one in the back is slightly different than the rest, to be honest. Even with that big water nuke, you're not defeated. Okay, you've chosen to speed yourself up. And that speed increase actually enabled you to interrupt. Not so good for me. We definitely know that Mr. Spider in the back there is coming to attack. And unfortunately, I'm in interrupt range as well. So come on then, hit me with all you've got. That's obviously what's going to happen at this point. I'm just going to keep healing here. Too bad I can't act before you at this point. I gotta say. Can I or can't I? Oh, maybe if I slowed him down. But you didn't even attack me anyway. Alright, we've got one paralyzed. That'll help us out a little bit. A nice dodge by front row fighters. Too bad you can't keep up with that. Alright, so we want to definitely petrify all now. Oh, oh! Finn's paralyzed as well? Oh no, Finn's just a little bit slow. Hmm, where do I go with this one? I think I should just attack. The interrupts are going to happen. And even some defeats. Let's just nuke that guy down with critical hit, in fact. Hmm, I might switch. The reason I might switch is I think the Rubella might be able to get that attack in faster. Oh, just not about, but attacking Finn anyway. There we go, finish it off, Rubella. Rumbella. All that extra strength as well. Man. People are just getting more powerful by the second. Doing the quest seems to be more important than anything. I don't know, funny looking creatures is like, yeah! Exited in Lemuria. Ha, huh, small talk aside, you willing to put a price on your pipe? Not on your life! Is that what he uses to cast his magic, his reagent, so to say? What he channels it from? But we can see the heart! Onward, the spiders await! Please, Aurora, don't use me as bait! A heart fashioned out of crystal! Free cobweb spun, therefore love little. Indeed, there may be cobweb spun, but where exactly is our destination? Aurora, what is love known by when it hurts to say goodbye? So they both reach the same tunnel, do they? So we've got to get rid of these cobwebs that join? But how do I do that? That is the question. A confession floats around. Ow, which lover as well. Confession number nine is ours. But a nasty little bit of damage also goes with it. I'll take the extra magic and MP to nicely heal myself up. And I'm getting two magic as restoration for each one of them now, which is brilliant if you think about it. And some Stardust, lovely! Some more defense to add to our party members. Though I do wonder if there's anything down here secret, though I don't want to just walk into lava, because that would be stupid. Stupid indeed. So, is it just defeating you spiders that might get the cobwebs away, or do I have a long bit of journeying still to go? I'd say, if anything, it looks like a long journey. Now, would a tumble all... No, let's switch. Hmm. Let's nuke one spider out of our path, first and foremost. Party change? Nora front row. Seems Nora's become my default now. Alright, slow you. And get to work. Apart from that, I kind of want to heal up Finn a little bit, but those spiders, they don't have last a lot on terms of HP. A triple, triple interrupt. That's how we do some things. A nice freeze. I think I can get... Yeah, I think I can get it. There we go. We've got one interrupted. The question goes, can I get you as well? Nope, but gathering strength is what you did. I should have went for Petrify All. I probably could have finished this fight. Alright, Burning Touch. Well, we're going to attack Finn now, are we? Poor Finn. Too bad I can't bring Rubella out to sort things out for you, but... 
What are you weak to, back row, sir? In fact, we'll petrify all, take them out on this go. Let's just make sure to keep my healing going. I was a bit worried there that certain members might be... Oh, there we go, critical hit. That's one way to do it. Burning touch? How did you do it so fast? Nor interrupted. Well, you do have a lot of defense against these people, but it still seems we take tons of damage when we do. Alright, apart from that, let's get Rubella out. This tumble should hit before... Oh, come on! What's with these super fast attackers? Finish the fight, Nora. Finish the fight. Super fast spider attackers, but Finn levels up all the same. We didn't even need to heal him. Robert as well. And a rough ruby is gained. So still no clue exactly how to take them out just yet. Love the bow and arrows get up. Excited to fight by your side. Likewise, you were the circus that just passed through. Look, foes to battle. The circus can wait outdoors. You mean outside. Indeed. Well, still, we've got ourselves a door over there. With three more skills to level up. Let's level that up and read a confession to finish it all. Maybe I should have actually just went, hey, wait a second, let's just go to Water 2. But Water 2 is quite far away. I don't think we're going to have it in this cave. We'll look for weaknesses later, if you know what I mean. Right. Nora can level up with some MP. And Robert, where to take you down the line again? Right. Maybe we should go for some critical for you. Yeah, let's go along this path for a bit. Dodge and critical. Sounds kind of cool, to be honest. Uh, build up a critical-based character. But let us read the confession to end the episode. Right, which is our new confession down here? Well, let's get reading. The mirror's thrown open, the search begun. All these years and the answer is laid plain. It was not hidden in the archives of Spain. The secret of Rome is far more than one. Although left behind the fall on the run, for Lemuria we know must reclaim. The explorers within their kingdom vain, a prize dropped in ruins lost from the sun. The future bright, first follow the starry night. Professor Balthazar's manuscript holds a clue, if read under Erin's right. But will it close the rift, one world unite? Time fades to evening, still close as shadows drift. Who makes this right? Not me, you, my child of light. I'm sure. And with that, and with the spider web still to be found, I end this episode. Join me next time for more child of light, as we hopefully complete this dungeon. Sort out Magnus Heart. Bye bye.